This exhibition springs from a book that I did over the last couple of years called, funnily enough, Heart of Australia. I've got a copy right here. And it's a look at the way communities put on these amazing events that hold them together in many ways. Uh, rodeos, country shows, big events like the Gympie Muster, small events like the Bryn Creek Show in Tasmania, things like that. So the exhibition is really just my favourite photographs from a very large shoot. It all started when I was doing a shoot for the South Australian Government uh, looking at outback communities uh, in South Australia and how they uh, put on events and how they relate to each other and they wanted a lot of photographs of the sorts of things that go on in these communities, the sorts of uh, events and uh, festivals that hold everybody together and allow people to, uh, an excuse to meet and greet with, uh, people who don't see each other very often during the year. And out of that came this idea to do a book on the communities in the country and how that same aspect of community ad ad adhesion, is that the right word? Um, the community connection is so well uh, served by putting on these big events. I went to, I think, 25 different festivals in all states except the ACT. Uh, for logistical reasons, there were some events that I simply couldn't get to. Birdsville races being one of them and also the various events that go on in the ACT. So maybe in volume two I'll get to go there. Access to these sorts of events is very important. In all cases I had permission to be there. I would always get in touch with the organisers by email or by telephone and say hey I'm doing this book project, can you help me? And without exception they were all very accommodating and the end result was I had access to basically all areas. Uh, this became very important at the Gympie Muster where I was able to shoot out from the stage over the shoulders, if you like, of the band that was playing. And to see all the people watching was a better shot in my estimation than a shot of the band on the stage. So I obviously shot that too, but I, I just love this idea of looking out from the perspective of the players on the stage. Same thing at the Yarrabah Festival in North Queensland when I was photographing Yothu Yindi. I was stood right on the stage behind the, the musicians looking out into the audience. My favourite events, uh, very hard to say, they were all interesting in their own way of course, but the one that usually springs to mind when I get asked this question is the Deniliquin Ute Muster in New South Wales where around about 9,000 Utes turn up and party for the whole weekend. It's a little bit hardcore, it's a little bit feral, but I do have some interesting memories of events that I probably shouldn't really repeat on a family show like this, but certainly wandering around what they call the Ute Paddock with a photographer's vest on and cameras makes you a bit of a target for people rushing out and saying, Oi mate, come and check this out, this crazy thing's going on here or that crazy thing's going on there. So that was a lot of fun, it really was. The cameras that I used for this project were about 75% Leica SL and about 25% Leica CL, which is like my B camera. The SL gets the job done, um, but sometimes you need to switch cameras very quickly and I don't have two of them, so I used my CL as the backup camera and in many cases it was the camera that got the shot. The, uh, the big hero image on the wall of the exhibition of the, uh, the horse being lassoed was taken on the CL and I think you'll agree it blows up pretty well, so it's a very fine camera, one that I used a lot for this project. Mm -hmm.